Look who's here! I heard Booker T might have learned a little variation of his spinneroony from Lana. I actually heard the same thing. I'm going to double check with my sources and get some verification on that. Well, well, tell me you guys didn't just say that. Byron, maybe you should take some dancing tips from Lana. She could probably help you out. Have you seen me do the Macarena? Lana, extremely beautiful, incredibly talented in the ring, has improved immensely during her time here in WWE. Hey, Michael, Corey, what? It's glow time! I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxton, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. The glow's like having a nightlight, so it's okay. Who once beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. How can you not bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out? How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl. I'm an unbiased broadcaster, Saxton. Or just a grump. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. It's the Queen of Spades! She is the real deal. One of the original four horse women of mixed martial arts, a protege of Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler thrives on the fear of others. Yeah, it would be a tough point to argue that Shayna Baszler may be the toughest woman to ever step foot in NXT. Now oh, she's as tough as they come. Classic match with Ember Moon. At NXT TakeOver New Orleans, where she won the NXT Women's Championship. The sky's the limit.
Get ready for some WWE magic. And we get underway with the pride of Moscow, Lana, Damn. looking to turn this Cold War red hot. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood oh, out man. as one you don't want to miss. something fast she somehow breaks free but you have to wonder how much damage was done now oh, that's not right somebody do something about that When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Harsh impact. Ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, and both groups actually met face to face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, you name the time, you name the place. The two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy... Look at this, Byron. She is on fire. She's almost out of it. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what are they gonna do here? Set up in position. Foot leg moonsault. She got it. Naomi has her right where she wants her. Victory is on the horizon. The challenger not looking good right now. But can she turn things around if she works her way out of the holes? And I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. Boom. Nice. Here's Nia Jax in off the tag. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent, who will be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Nailed it. Which 
she gets in attack mode, look out. Oh, man, what a leg drop. That leg drop across the throat. She's got a chance to win it here. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Nia Jax did not waste any time in becoming a dominant force in NXT after some good technique right there. And Naomi's showing us how to have a good time. The challenger not in a great place. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. One of these women has to pull away here eventually. At this point, it looks like it might just be her opponent. Six. Going back to Nia Jax's NXT day, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. Well, I haven't been there for Nia's early days. I can tell you, she was milliseconds away from beating the likes of Bailey and Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. Nia had takeover battles well in hand with both women, but lost due to rookie miscues. And now that she's got more experience, she's earning main event matches and winning titles. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Beautiful technique. Look at her go. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the three. Shayna Baszler making her move. Shayna Baszler, what impact. She's back in full control now. All that's left now for Shayna Baszler is to finish this. The shoulders are down. They got it. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. Look at her go. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Now that's eking out a win. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.